So today I'm going to share with you how to eliminate casting in your baseball swing. And as an example, I'm going to use one of the students that is in my online coaching program. And as you can see here on the left hand side, I'm going to let it play in real time. You'll see what's going on with the swing and then I'm going to show you what he's doing currently right now. So you'll see here on the left hand side, as he starts to swing, you can see that there is a lot of movement and unnecessary movements, I should say, going around in the swing you can see that he starts to drift forward okay and the hands drop and then you can see him arm barring and then you can see him come around the baseball and he wasn't able to be consistent best he was doing was hitting balls to the right hand side and then if he did pull a ball it was a ground ball to third base shortstop and uh, this made him very frustrated and inconsistent so his dad reached out and he joined my online coaching program and you can see here on the right hand side it's a different swing you'll see when he starts to swing you'll see that he starts pulling his hands in okay and then you can see how he works towards the baseball and then through the baseball so he has completely eliminated that casting problem making the swing very short more compact more direct to the baseball and it's allowing him to hit more line drives and be more consistent and this is the truth and I'll prove it because here's what his dad just sent me. His dad said, sorry for delay in sending over some progress videos. Cole has been doing the drills still two to three X per week, but we haven't had time to do the videos. And what he means is sending me videos so I can look over them because that's a part of my coaching program. He says he has seen major improvements in his game at bats. He is way more comfortable at the plate and has been attacking the ball and hitting balls harder. In one of his travel games last week, he actually hit one off the fence, just missing the home run by less than a foot. So as you can see, he's a completely different hitter. And so I'm going to share with you exactly what we did. And these are the three things that will help you to eliminate casting. Okay. With that said, let's jump into it. So the first thing we did was we got him to choke up. Now, a lot of kids hate choking up. Now I explained to Cole, I said, Cole, you're not going to choke up and hit like this forever. All I want you to do is choke up just so that you learn how to control the barrel. Because the thing about hitting is that when you look online, you're seeing that uh, they're teaching you the A swing, right? They're teaching you the swing that allows you to hit doubles, to hit home runs. And the A swing is uh, just that, your best swing, right? But over a course of a season, you're not taking all your swings being your A swing because there's times where you're going to face pitchers and you're not going to see them well. There's times when your body is not comfortable in the batter's box. There's times where you're just not hitting to your full potential and that's baseball and that's when you need to be able to control the barrel and still get the job done so i had him just so that he was able to control the barrel and learn where it's at at all times players like him need to know how to do that and i see it with a lot of prop a lot of players they struggle with this so i had him choke up and this helped him to be more consistent because now his barrel was a little bit shorter he was able to uh, hold it and he was, be he was able to control it now if that pitch is away in he knows where that barrel is it's close and he's going to get the ball to it so he can hit it hard and give himself a better chance so that's the first thing we did and it's one of the things i highly recommend you do is start with choking up learning where the barrel is controlling it at all times knowing how to get it to where you want it to get it pitch by pitch and then slowly start working down and this is exactly what i told him start working down until you get to the bottom of the bat now right now he's in a stage where he has to have it choked up okay and as he gets better and he starts hitting the ball more consistently then he goes down a little bit more and he keeps going down and then he goes back to this right here where he's all the way down at the bottom okay so that's the first thing we did and uh, it's basically helping him out a lot so the second thing we did we got him into a better launch position and if you don't know what the launch position is it's when the front foot hits the ground okay starting to hit the ground then you're in this position and it's a super important position now in hitting mechanics you aren't always going to get into the best positions but our job is to try to get into the best position 
to give ourselves the best chance to hit. And the launch position is just that. It's that position that you really want to focus on at the youth level. And a lot of kids struggle with this. They struggle with getting into the launch position. What tends to happen is that they start striding and you'll get their hands drop or you'll see their hands start leaking forward and then you're going to get a lot of weak contact and like i told them i said hey you need to continue to work on that launch position because it's super important for him to get his a swing off his best swing the swing that allows him to hit the bottom of the fence like his dad was saying right we have to get him into that position as often as we possibly can so we worked on it and you can see here how he's very very long and there's a lot of unnecessary movements which i'll talk about in the next uh key and um he's just not in a good position and this causes him to come around the baseball roll over get weak contact and not be able to uh you know hit as consistently as he wants we can see here on the right side as that front foot starts to hit the ground you can see the knob pointing to the catcher and the barrel up at 45 degrees and you have the little box right here and the back arm up now i would like the back arm just a little bit higher right but he's still a work in progress and like i said it's really hard for young baseball players to get into this position and you have to take reps after reps after reps until it becomes muscle memory so we're still working on it but this is by far a way better launch position um you know as opposed to here as opposed to here he's standing straight tall and then as our front foot goes you can see that he starts working around the baseball and he's like spinning like a screw and you can see uh over here he's working inside of his body just because he's in this position now he's able to pull his hands in as you can see right here and then get to the baseball and uh you know be more consistent more direct and uh hit on the sweet spot more consistently just because he's giving himself a better chance so that's the next thing that we did we got him into a better launch position and we focused on that we focused on that launch position because it's super important we need to get ourselves in a good position okay a good position to hit and so the next thing we did was eliminate space right you know growing up i didn't have good coaching and the natural tendency when you start playing baseball is that you start to swing and you try to get a lot of space. And you can see right here, this is what happens. He starts to swing and there's just a lot of space going on and it's starting to get that bat drag thing, you know, the thing that we don't want. And then he's working around the baseball and it feels like you're being explosive, but the ball's not going anywhere, right? And so that's the natural tendency. And I used to do it as well. I think everybody who's played this game has swung similar to this. But what we want to do is we want to eliminate space. And so what I wanted to do is get him in a position of creating that compact swing. You know, damage is done out front. So if we look right here, you see how he pulls his hands in. Okay, again, we're eliminating that space back here. He is creating a lot of unnecessary movements. If we can turn this video, which I don't have right now, um, you'll see that the bat is going way back and around, right? So there's a lot of unnecessary movements. And again, the ball's coming this way and he's working all the way around here. And then he's arm barring and then he's trying to get to the baseball, right? And we want to get the baseball out front that's where damage is done right so if we look right here you can see how now he's pulling his hands inside his body as i like to say most people say inside the baseball i like to say inside the body so you can see he's pulling his hands inside of his body and why i say that is because you can look at his shoulders his shoulders are square towards the pitcher or somewhat square right now and then you can see how now he pulls his hands inside and look at his shoulders they're pretty some pretty uh square still and then they just rotate okay and replace each other right so he's working more like this as opposed to working like a door and you can see right here 
if you look over here you see that when that front foot comes or gets down you can see how it starts working like a door his body is spinning and being rotational which is you know you do want to be rotational it's a rotational sport but what you want you don't want to do is come around the baseball and as a right hand hitter most of the balls we're going to face are going to come away from us and it's going to be from right handed throwers so the ball is going to be moving away and if you're rotating towards third base as the ball is going away you're going to hit a lot of ground balls and you're going to not be able to hit as many line drives as you want so here we're able to work inside of our body and let that ball come a little deeper so that we can stay inside the baseball and hit the baseball out front so those right there are the three keys that helped him to eliminate casting and allow him to hit a baseball uh, to the fence, as his dad mentioned. And he wasn't doing this before. This is uh, what he said, and he's been having major improvements to his game. And I'm just happy to be a part of his journey. So with that said, if you're interested in online coaching, if you're, list if you're interested in taking your game to that next level, link is below. I'll give you a free swing breakdown. I'll break down your swing, telling you step by step what you need to do to hit more consistently and with more power. So take advantage while you can. And um, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thank you so much for watching.